Hi, I'm going to tell you a little bit about bird banding today. Bird banding is a really old technique that we use to study birds' movements and longevity. Um, banders will put a small aluminum band on a bird's leg and it has an individual numeric code. Then we'll record data about the bird, like where we trapped it and when, and the age and sex of the bird if we can figure that out and also some other things. We sometimes record the amount of body fat and some other measurements. Then we send our data to the bird banding lab in Washington, DC. If anyone ever finds our bird, we're gonna get back information on where it was found and when. And then that's how we can tell how long the bird has survived, if it's dead, and we'll learn something about its movements, especially if it's a migratory bird, that's pretty exciting to see. So a lot of our knowledge of migratory birds in particular has been found out by using banding. Now it's an old technique that's been done for 125 years or more, and now we have newer things like telemetry, but banding still has its place, uh, especially when you're looking at large numbers of birds. So we're gonna be doing some bird banding, and how we're doing it is we're gonna trap the birds with very fine nets called mist nets. We put them up between the feeder and the place the birds like to rest in the woods and they will fly toward the feeder and hopefully get caught in our nets. Then we're going to carefully take them out of the nets, bring them back to our banding station, apply a band, write down some data and do some measurements and then we're just going to let it go and it's going to be perfectly fine. So it doesn't hurt the birds at all. It's a little stressful for them, which is why we try to handle them as quickly and safely as we can, and then let them go back to their, to their business in the wild. Um, it's important that you know that banders are all permitted. We have to be trained and tested before we can get a banding permit. And I'll probably be working with some other banders and some people who are training to be banders when we see you at the banding station. And those folks have all been training and are in training for learning how to take the birds out of the net safely and then handling them and reporting the data safely. So one thing we really love about bird banding is it gives you the chance to see the birds really close. Um, you get to see them in the hand and study their feathers and we get to look at a lot of different aspects of their physiology if we want to. And so it's a really cool experience that way. that's all I can think of about banding and uh, hopefully I will see you in a couple of days.